from the pyro, from the pyro. I don't have the music copyright, so I gotta sing this song from the pyro. Oh, hey, hey, guess what? Um, <clears throat> hey, it's Gavin. I guess I should probably do another episode of From the Pile. They uh, like my pilot, if you watched it. Um, thank you for doing that. So they said, hey, make more of these. You are charming. Uh, we don't care about comics, but we'll watch you. So I'm on my way to becoming YouTube famous, I think. Am I YouTube famous yet? Am I? How long does it take? Can I, am I famous? A am I more famous now? I have a cat. People love cats. You love cats. The first comic up this week is going to be the team-up book, Deadpool and Spider-Man. Now, Spider-Man, everybody knows who that is. He's had a couple movies. He had five movies, uh, two of which were pretty good, and three of which were, oh, why do you keep making these? Quit it. Please stop. If your movie has an idea to make Tobey Maguire turn emo and walk down the street, just don't make it. Don't make it. Also, Amazing Spider-Man 2 is terrible. It's so bad, Marvel got the rights back to Spider-Man because Jamie Foxx is not Electro. He's just not. Deadpool, however, he's a character that, he's coming into pop culture quite a bit, and he's got a movie coming out starring Ryan Reynolds in February. Now, Deadpool, I am a fan of Deadpool. However, I am not a fan of people who like Deadpool. But I like Deadpool, I do. But he's not the best character, and if you think he is, um, you can but I'm going to snicker at you and judge you, because that's who I am. But this book is a lot of fun. Um, Spider-Man basically plays a straight man to dead Deadpool's craziness. It's all over the place, and I really like where, where the book is going. Deadpool basically wants to hang out with Spider-Man so he can be a better person. Spider-Man's having none of it, and just wants him to go away. So if that sounds good to you, then uh, check out Deadpool and Spider-Man. The second book I'm going to talk about is a book that, just the title alone, uh, should kind of key you in on what it is. It is called Lucifer, and it's about the devil. That's pretty rock and roll as far as combo goes. What's your book about? Oh, it's about the devil. So this is a really cool book. Basically, it's a murder mystery. God is dead, and not in like the philosophers. God is dead. Mm, what's going to happen? No, God is actually dead, and they're blaming Lucifer with the murder. But Lucifer, he's on Earth. He opened a club, which is super cool and super Lucifer. Like, when I heard that, I was like, that's totally the devil. He would open a club. I'd be lying if I told you that going to Catholic school my entire life and then buying a book named Lucifer didn't make me feel a little bit guilty. But I know my mom would probably hate him be like, Gavin, you inviting that evil in. Um, but this evil is a really good read, so I'm going to go ahead and read it, Mom. You don't control me anymore. I'm almost 29, uh, but please let me come to Thanksgiving because you cook some good mashed potatoes. If you're a fan of the CW show Supernatural, this is going to be a book that you're going to want to check out because it's kind of like, like that show. It has a very supernatural feel. It's got some funny parts in it. It's not all super serious. So yeah, check out Lucifer. And then finally, the last book I'm going to review is one I was super excited about in my pilot, and that was The Walking Dead 150. Now, I actually do not have a physical copy of this book because it was sold out at the comic book store, but I have read it um, by... Um, means. So I have read it. I enjoyed it. However, I've got to say, I am disappointed. I am so disappointed in this book. Ever since, they, they've been hyping it for months. 150. What's going to happen? Who's going to die? Am I right? Are you right? Is everybody dead? Who's going to die? Who? Who? I got to know. Without spoiling anything, uh, nobody dies. There's no death whatsoever. There's nothing. There are some moments in it that make you go, oh man, this book is gonna, it's really gonna pack a punch. And then it doesn't. It doesn't, it really kind of pulls back. This, it's moving very, very slow right now, and I'm not digging it. I like where the story is going, but if we can get there faster, that'd be awesome. So yeah, not a huge fan of The Walking Dead 150. I think maybe when the collected editions come out, it'll, it'll, it'll flow better, but right now it is slower than the show. And that is saying something, because the show is slow. I'm going to keep reading, obviously, because it is The Walking Dead. I've been a fan for a while, so I'm going to... I'm in it for the long haul, even when it's not good. It's like it's like a marriage. So there you have it. That is episode two of From the Pile. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to subscribe to the channel over here. And I'll have another one for you next week. Hopefully you enjoy this, and I keep making them. This has been From the Pile.